Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at the chat settings in Zoom. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're logged into Zoom with your Fleetwood Google account. And then you're going to go over here to settings. All right, so you want to scroll down to where it says in meeting basic settings and take a look at the chat. Make sure that's turned on. That'll give you access to all these settings. And then you can see you have other options below that. You can prevent participants from saving the chat right here. If for some reason you don't want your participants to save it, click that box. Private chat, allow meeting participants to send a private one-to-one -one message to another participant. I have that turned on right now, just so we can show you what that looks like once we're in the meeting. Auto save chats, it says it will automatically save all in-meeting chats so the hosts do not need to manually save the text. So this can be very helpful if you have questions you're going to answer later from the students or if there's a situation where a student uh, puts something inappropriate in the chat, you have a record of that. The sound notification when someone joins or leaves, it will be a bell sound usually. I have that turned off right now, but I'm going to turn that back on. So let me go down here to the next one, file transfer. So this is an important one to think about when we're talking about the chat. If you want to be able to transfer files within the chat, look what it says here, hosts and participants can send files through the in-meeting chat. So you can uh, restrict that in some way right here. I have that just unchecked and we'll take a look at what that looks like also. So now that we're done with that, let's go back to the meeting. I have a meeting in progress here with myself. I'm signed in uh, three times. And by the way, if you sign in multiple times with your same Google login, it will give you a message that says you're signed out and that you've been signed in with another computer, but it doesn't really seem to matter. You don't get kicked out of the meeting or anything like that. I've signed into the same meeting four or five times and it hasn't affected the functionality of anything at all. It doesn't kick you out. I'm gonna go down here to where it says chat. I'm gonna click that. Okay, so let's look at the chat settings and they are kind of hidden over here in the lower right hand side and these three dots right here. Click those and you see the options that you have within the chat. Now, whatever your last setting was on your meeting, it will be retained in the subsequent meetings. So I had this set at no one, and this is my personal meeting room, so I'm using this over and over, it's gonna retain those settings. Normally, I think by default, it's set at everyone publicly and privately can, can chat. Now, you gotta think about whether or not you want that because that means that your participants can privately chat with each other and you wouldn't be able to actually see what they're talking about. Um, you could do everyone publicly, you could do host only. So if you have a situation where you just want the students to be able to send you messages, you would set it at host only. So you have some options within the chat right there. Also right here, this is where you can share files within the chat. You can click on that and you can find the file on your desktop. Now you have to have that downloaded already on your computer to be able to upload it to students. If I needed to share a, a file of some kind, I could do that and click open, and you'll see in the chat, then the students would be able to have access to that file. So that's just a brief overview on how the chat works within Zoom. If you have any questions, you can always email me at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. And until next time, have a great day.